Hello everyone, I'm Zelda Kelly with Psychic Secrets, and this is your weekend reading for April the 15th through the 16th of 2023. Let's get started. This is for all signs, and so it may not resonate with some of you, but I'm going to say maybe a little longer it will. It, sometimes these readings can last a few days longer, and something may spark within you that, well, re resonates with you. It is for all signs, like I said, and we start out with this beautiful Queen of Swords. Now, this is the influence of the Angel's Tarot. Let's see what we're going to be given today. Okay, we're asking for information. And let me see if I can fix that glare. Let me see here. There we are. That's a little better. Okay, so now we have the Queen of Swords, the Knight of Cups, and one more card out for this weekend, and that is the Three of Cups. What a wonderful reading this is. We're not done. We're going to be laying out some more cards. We're going to get some confirmation, but let's get started with these meanings. The first and foremost card, I like her, the Queen of Swords. This Queen of Swords is an airy element, and she's very intellectual. You can say that this can resonate with also the Queen of Diamonds. She is a business person at heart. She makes sure that she seriously works through things. She makes sure that, well, she has all the facts before she makes a decision. That's you, my friend. Neither male nor female energy, but the energy in itself of this Queen of Swords tells me that this weekend is going to be that of something that you're going to be thinking about and that maybe you even thought about for a long time. This Knight of Cups also, well, let's say, is a water element, but this Knight of Cups brings you peace, harmony, joy. You see this little angel right there? She also has a little, little guitar, for lack of a better word for it, but he has one too. The melody is within you. And what is that melody? Well, that's your inner being. That's your inner self guiding, directing, your inner spirit. He has a cup here, and you can see that it is filled with wine, but also that it is filled with peace. Now, it doesn't surprise me that we have cups in this as well. This is also a cup, a water element. You see three cups here. They are celebrating now, I do believe you're going to be celebrating something, something that you've been working on, thinking about, and working towards, I believe, for quite some time. This Three of Cups is something that you can see that there is joy there. And with them having this cups, and look, the angels are there celebrating with them. Isn't that beautiful? I just love this card. It really means that this is... A, a celebration and can be of many things. But I think, my darlings, that this is a celebration going forward this weekend on a decision that you have made. Let's confirm that. Right now, I've got my good old trusty tarot. This is an older deck, so but it gives us great meanings. So let's see. I want to confirm some of these cards. So we're just going to pick some cards right now, see what it is that we can do with this particular read. Oh, the Justice card. I love it. And I'm going to cut it once more. And we're going to take this, which is also a cup. It's a five of cups here. But let's take one more. We're going to cut again. And we're going to take one more card. <laughs> I'm giggling because you have cups here. You have five cup cards and an air so this is five water elements and an air element I've got to tell you that this is definitely an emotional thing for you that you're going through and a celebration and something that is creating 
well memories. It's creating balance. I'm going to say this about this justice card. Now, this can also be a Libra. Now, you don't have to be a Libra for this reading to resonate. But what this tells me is you see the scales of justice are balanced. This, well, it looks like king, but I'm going to say ruler rules from the heart and rules from the head, but does not rule with an iron fist. I love this card for you. Now you see the tip of the sword goes right toward the end of the frame of this card. That means you're almost done with a particular situation. And I believe that at this point you can celebrate. Now, forgive this card. Like I said, they're old and sometimes they get rubbed around a little bit. I'm just going to hold my thumb over there so you don't get distracted. I want you to see this. This person is standing here by a river that is flowing. That represents, this water flowing represents that life still goes on. Life flows no matter what is going on in our lives. But you see, he is lamenting, this person rather, is lamenting, hurt, upset over the broken cups, over what they have lost. And yet, they're still too behind. That right there is telling me that you have overcome something. You've overcome. And that is the most important thing because right here, this Queen of Cups tells me that right now you're, you're based on your thinking, your facts are based on memories, could even be family, could be a relationship, could be that you're working through a relationship, a family situation. But this Queen of Cups is very interesting. You see these pebbles down here, these stones and the pebbles, they are all memories in life. And she has them at her feet, so she won't forget. But she's looking at this urn not because she thinks it's so beautiful and so wonderful, but this urn is a very sacred collection of souls, meaning she's thinking of days gone by. She's thinking of the people that have gone by. She's a beautiful queen. She rules by emotion, and that is something for her. Now, I'm going to say, this is not a cup, and I did misrepresent that. That is not a cup card. This is an air. So we have two airs, and we have four cups. So I'm sorry about that mislabeling there. But I think what you're doing is you're taking a very intellectual approach on what is good for your relationship, what is good for your family. And I'm going to say, you're going to be celebrating. And that's the most important thing. Let's get a final thought. Let's get a final thought for you. Final thought for you in this beautiful reading today. What's the final thought for the weekend? Let's see. We're going to cut the cards here. All right. Drum roll. We always do that. Drum roll. There we are. Now that is an earth sign. And we're going to cut one more time. It's an earth element. And this emperor is also. I've got to say something. With this Emperor and the Justice card, this is something that you've been working on, making sure that you do the right thing. This is a Libra, but this is an Aries card. And I've got to say this, you see, with this, I like I call him a King Solomon card because he rules with kindness and logic and wisdom. But he also, and you see the, the ram's heads, that means he is an Aries, but you don't have to be an Aries for to resonate with this. But this is energy I think that we all should tr strive to have. And that energy is someone who rules and judges fairly. Make sure that something is justified, doing the right thing. What this is telling me is that you've done the right thing as far as your family is concerned as far as your relationship is confirmed. This beautiful queen of pentacles, she is sitting here and you can say that she is a lush 
existence and a very lush life. The wonderful thing about this Queen of Pentacles is she's sitting here looking at this one pentacle and it's quite large, which means that her, the fruits of her labor have been very generous. You can see this by the card. But she's not looking at this because she's, well, she's not, um, I'm going to say greedy. That's what I'm looking for is that word. Or she's not proud, but she's looking this, at this because she knows that the finances are helping people get along, are helping, and that there is a financial healing that can come with this card. I love this for you. This is a beautiful indication that you've worked hard for what you're reaping. You, she's, she's showing us that she's holding on because she deserves this and she knows this. And so do you, my friend. So in conclusion for this weekend reading, I think that this is something that you've been working on, planning, thinking about for such a long time, and it's definitely going to be a healing, a financial healing, and also a healing in the emotions and in the heart department with your relationship. You have really, I'm going to say, worked so hard for this to come into fruition. You know that family and your relationship is so important that there's not turning back at all. A celebration is definitely at hand for you. And believe me, the finances will follow. Thanks so much for watching. Have a beautiful weekend. You can find me at PsychicSecrets.com and on social media, I am Psychic Zelda Kelly. You have a blessed weekend. Be well, and I will see you again very soon. Bye for now.